Hi everybody, this is Kit Friend, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the Evil Within 2. Um, first of all, let's start with the display mode. Me, I'm using full screen because uh, I saw a couple of issues when I stream a game. I'm using two screens. I have 144 Hz. My main screen, I have a 60 Hz, uh, uh, my second screen. When I stream on Twitch, when something moves on my second screen at 60 uh, Hz, uh, my 144 Hz is dropping at 60. Uh, so I always play game in full screen mode because I always like do something in my second screen. So if you guys are using the same setup than me, just think about it. So I'm saying full screen over there, VSync disable, make sure that it's disabled, you don't want to use it and have some input lag. I like the feel of view at 90, I always play game at 90, I want to see more in front of me, but for sure if you increase that, you will render more in front of you, so your FPS will decrease a little bit. Uh, after that, go to advanced setting. In advanced setting, um, we will do custom for overall quality over here. Object motion blur, camera motion blur for this. I see that it's causing a lot of drop FPS in the game. So I'm just disable it. I don't like the effect. So uh, it's better for performance. And I don't like the effect. So that's why I'm going to disable it. Um, same thing with motion blur quality. Just put it at low. You want less motion blur. Just those three you will probably gain 8 to 10 FPS. Depending where you are and when you move. Uh, so those ones are kind of important, honestly, if you want to have more FPS. After that, uh, the quality of the camera, depth of field effect, this one, really important too. It will increase the focus uh, further in the, the game if you go with eye. So this one, if you have a low end or medium quality, uh, medium end PC, just put it at low. If you have uh, a decent PC, you can go medium or even high. SSAO uh, and the ambient inclusion. This one I didn't see a big increase, honestly. Uh, for each bracket, you will gain one FPS, so not that much. So you can go medium or high, whatever you you want, and whatever the number of FPS that you have. This one is affecting um, the reflection in the game. So depending where you are in the game, you can gain a, a lot of FPS or sometimes not because you don't have a lot of reflection. So this one cause uh, FPS drop. So you can go with low or medium if you don't want to see a lot of reflection in the game. Volumetric light quality, this one will gain, it will gain you a lot of FPS. Honestly, for each bracket, uh, you can have 3 to 4 FPS depending where you are in the game. Uh, it's pretty, it takes a lot of resources and uh, I saw, I saw a, like a big increase over there. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Just go with medium or low on this one. Even if you are high end PC and you want more than 100 FPS, just go with medium or low. Shadow quality, this one, like all the games, it's taking a lot of resources to render all the shadow in the game. So just put it at low. For me, uh, shadows are not something important in the game. So just remove it. If you go at low, you can gain 8 to 10 FPS just one shot. If you go high to low, so really important. And finally, anti-aliasing. You don't want to put this one at disabled because you will see a lot of like breaking lines in everywhere when you render the game. Just use FXAA. It's pretty much the basic anti-aliasing, but honestly, it's doing the job. And uh, if you have your uh, 60 FPS and more easily, you can improve this one. You will see that your game will look a lot cleaner. So uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in my YouTube section. Uh, make sure that you update your driver. AMD is doing really well on this one. The, the engine of the game is ID Tech 5. So it's pretty much like Doom. So uh, yeah, you will have a, lot, a, a nice FPS. Even if you have like an RX 580, you will almost be like a 1070 from Nvidia. So just make sure that you update your driver and you guys will be fine. So that's it, guys. Peace.